Okay, 250 milliliters of 20 grams per liter solution was made by diluting 100 milliliters of concentrate. What was the original concentration? So, what is the concentration of the 100 milliliters of solution that if we dilute it to 250 milliliters, it'll have a concentration of 20 grams per liter? And so we're back at dilutions. Concentration 1 multiplied by volume 1 is equal to concentration 2 multiplied by volume 2 because these two things have to have the same quantity of material in them, be that number of grams or number of moles. So let's put these things into the equation. So on one side we're going to have 250 mil of 20 grams per litre, on the other side we're going to have 100 mil of unknown concentration. So let me do that. 250 grams, sorry, 250 millilitres multiplied by 20 grams per litre is going to be equal to concentration 2 multiplied by 100 milliliters. So rearrange this, put the 100 down here and we're going to get 250 multiplied by 20 divided by 100. Our milliliters will cancel out and we'll be left with grams per litre will be equal to concentration number 2. So uh, 250 multiplied by 20 divided by 100 is uh, 50 grams per litre. And if you want to check that, you can put it into your calculator, check my mental ar arithmetic is done correctly. I hope that makes sense. So whenever you're doing these questions, you just have to make sure, it doesn't matter which side of the equation, as long as you put the things that apply to the same solution on the same side. So the 250 and the 20 grams per litre apply to one side, and the 100 mil and the unknown apply to the other side. And as long as you put them on the, on the same side, you'll get the right answer back out again. The other thing to check is that your maths is going right, is that you've put in the right units. So if I were to put in my milliliters here, 250 milliliters, and my 100 milliliters, they're going to cancel out and I'm left with grams per liter. And so I know I'm going about it the right way, because what the units do, the same thing happens to the numbers. And if your units are working out right, then chances are your calculation is going the right way and you've rearranged the things correctly. Okay, hope that's helpful. Any questions, post them below on the form in the lab. Bye.